This is an eight row repeat worked on a multiple of six plus five. For my sample, I cast on 23 stitches with DK weight yarn and US size eight needles. Depending on how you plan to use the stitch, you may want to consider adding some extra stitches for a border to neaten up the edges. And the beginning and end of rows 7 and 8 are just a wee bit tricky, so some border stitches would make those rows easier to work as well. For row 1, knit all stitches. For row two, purl all stitches. For row three, you're going to start by knitting the first three stitches. And then you're going to repeat slip four and you're going to slip these four stitches as if to knit and then you're going to knit one and then you're going to pass those four slipped stitches over the stitch that you just knit so you just pick those four stitches up one at a time and pass them over your knit stitch. And then knit one. So that is the repeat. You slip four and slip each of those stitches as if to knit. Then you knit one Then pass each of those slipped stitches over your knit stitch. And then you knit one. And then you will end by knitting the last three stitches. For row four, you're going to start by purling the first three. Now we are going to work into our next stitch five times. So we're going to purl one knit one, purl one, knit one, and purl one again before we drop this from the left needle. So you purl, knit, purl, knit, and purl into that stitch and then slide it from the left needle and then purl one and then that's the repeat you purl knit and purl into the next stitch.
and purl one. And you will end with purl three. For row five, knit all stitches. Row six, purl all stitches. For row seven, we're going to start by slipping four as if to knit. Then you knit one, and then pass each of those slipped stitches over the knit stitch. And then the repeat is knit one, Slip the next four stitches. Knit one. Pass the four slipped stitches over your knit stitch. So knit one. Slip four, knit one, and pass your slipped stitches over the knit stitch. So you can see here why you would want to have a border around your project if this is the only stitch that you're using because it's a little funny working that past the four slip stitches over at the end and the beginning. So for row eight we're going to work our purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one into the same stitch. So you start with a purl, and then knit, and then purl, knit, it's really tight on the edge, there we go, and then purl one more time before slipping that stitch off the left needle. And then you're going to repeat purl one and then into that same stitch you're going to be working the purl one knit one purl one knit one purl one
You can always tell which stitch you're going to be working multiple times into because that is the one that you passed all of your slipped stitches over. So it's kind of obvious as you're working which stitch you're working into multiple times. And you just repeat those eight rows for the pattern.